Continuing with our carbonate minerals, here we have the mineral dolomite. Now, dolomite, which is also the name of a rock, uh, go to Petrology and Sedstrat for that one. Um, dolomite comes in a bunch of different forms, habits, um, but is really easy to identify based on the fact that it does not react with HCl. So when we look at something like this, we have that really great rhombohedral cleavage. Come on, focus. We have that really great rhombohedral cleavage, um, those beautiful non-90 degree planes. And to give you a comparison, here's that chunk of calcite that we've already covered before. Looks very similar in shape and form. And so the dead giveaway of this, if you have something, is to give it your HCL test. So let us try. I'm not even gonna bother powderizing it because I know the reaction. It's not going to do anything. Nothing, that is a clear, that is clear. So this one won't react and that's, that's what will help you distinguish it from calcite if you ever come to that. Um, and we've got a bunch of different samples here. Why is my camera not focusing? Beautiful. So we've got a bunch of different things here. This is a really common chunk that you would see with great cleavage. And then this is almost like a museum quality piece here. It's a really nice sample. We have associated minerals on it with some probably calcopyrite on here. This is a quartz crystal. This is really beautiful. But the thing I want you to take away from this is the crystal habit. So we have this weird almost rice looking crystal habit that it likes to grow in. Like I've said with other carbonate minerals, we have a lot of these almost rounded crystal faces in how they like to grow. And this comes out in dolomite really, really well. So we have these here, they're almost kind of bladed a little bit, but still kind of have that rice look to it. And then this one here kind of looks like mm, dusty, dusty rice or something like that. But we also have a bunch of different colors going on here, right? In this one, we have banding for, um, you know, probably an area that has maybe more iron. Um, and then these two would have less of something like that. So, um, and it's non-reactive. We've got really nice vitreous luster, like we would expect in our regular old carbonate family. Moderately low density. Um, let's give it a good hardness test though. It should be softer than a nail. I don't wanna scratch up any of these good faces. So this here. Yeah, so I've done and powderized it really, really well there. So um, definitely softer than a nail here, and it would be harder than a penny. Let's see, what else do we have? We covered luster. The streak, if I were to streak it, would be white, per usual in this little family here. The color is always going to be something earthier, but like we've seen here, can be really variable. And the crystal system of dolomite is going to be hexagonal, but unlike uh, something like corundum that we've discussed before. It doesn't have those really nice hexagonal crystal um, habits or forms that it grows in. And so that is dolomite, or calcium magnesium carbonate mineral.